and we're back with another red dot comparison. Today, these are two American-made optics. We have the Huey Gen 2 and the EOTech EXPS3. When we compared the EOTech to the Holosun, we got a ton of comments saying that we should not be comparing an American-made optic to a Chinese-made optic. Well, we listen, and here's an American-made one. The EOTech, depending on the model, you're looking at around $600. For the Huey, these sell out pretty quickly these days, but you're looking at anywhere from $450 to $500, depending where you find it and just how desperate you are. Warranty, Vortex, Unlimited, do whatever you want to it, they'll fix it, they'll replace it. The EOTech is 10 years. They both run on CR123 batteries. This one is stored in the middle. The cap is tethered and it has a flip up thing to help you take it off. CR123 goes in the front and the EOTech also tethered. The battery life on medium settings is 600 to 1000 hours for the EOTech and it is about 1500 hours to the Vortex. Clearly, the wind goes to the vortex in this case. Now, as you look at this picture, on the left, you have the Huey with the vortex magnifier. On the right, you have the EOTech with the vortex magnifier. And I think right away, you'll see that the Huey has a noticeable blue tint. And I think that's why the battery life is so much better on the Huey. To be fair, at least in my opinion, to my eyes, the blue tint is initially very noticeable, it jumps out, but once you're using it, you kind of get used to it, you forget it's there. It will come into play a little bit later when we talk about night vision. Some other features, auto off, the Huey, it's a 14 hour auto shot off. It's disabled if you hold the minus button down for five seconds. The EOTech, eight hours auto shut off or four, depending which Bunny you used to turn it on. Let's talk about the weight of these two. Huey, 11.7 ounces. EOTech, 11.1. So despite the Huey looking bigger, there is not that much of a weight difference. These both have the included mounts and they are both lower one third. Now, if that's not something that you want, EOTech does have other models that are absolute co-witness. Now, if you wanna mount one of these sites on let's say an AK, CZ Evo, something with a lower rail, lower one third might be a little bit high for you. Um, with the Huey, that's all you get. EOTech has, has other models that are absolute co-witness. They'll get that optic a little bit lower. So we're kind of getting into a uh, theme here that the EOTech has more options. I think that'll continue. The adjustments on the Huey are on the back, minus plus and NV on the EXPS, they're on the side. The XPS has them on the back as well. And again, it kind of depends which way you wanna go, what's more comfortable for you. You have more options with this. Reticles, you have one option with the Huey it's basically a circle with a dot in the middle and then a triangle on the bottom that, that is for sh up close shooting. The EOTech is very similar. It's just a closed circle with lines at the 12, 3, 6, 9 o'clock position. But the EOTech also has other models. Again, more options that have BDC available. They have a couple dots below the center one. If that's something that you like to use, probably the magnifier. One thing that we did notice, at least to us, the reticle in the, in the Huey, the center dot seems to be a little bit smudged sideways as compared to the EOTech, which is just a little bit sharper. Not a big deal. You really notice it with a magnifier though, if you, if you focus on it. Parallax, there is a little bit, but it's minimal. There might be the smallest amount in both optic, but it's virtually non-existent. So no difference there.
Now, as we talk about the body of these two optics, they're both actually about the same length. It's just the Huey looks, looks so much chunkier because of the long hood. And you actually do kind of notice it when you're shooting, when you're looking through up close, you do see a little bit more of the body as, you, as you're shooting, whereas this, it's so much shorter, it's not really noticeable. Additionally, the glass is almost flush in the back and in the front, whereas it's protected on the EOTech. Now that glass, you can wipe this off easier if you get some dirt on it or some mud front and back, but it's easier to damage obviously because it's not, it's not as protected. Here, it's less likely anything is going to hit it or damage it, but it is possible that you will get some debris stuck in there if you, you know, drop it in the mud or whatever. The EOTech has a smaller port, viewing port, just because it has the protective hood, whereas the optic is just one piece on the, on the vortex. The buns feel very similar on both. You have a plus minus and night vision. You have 15 regular settings on the Huey, eight night vision, and the EOTech, 20 regular, 10 night vision. And uh, speaking of night vision, let's take it over to our resident CPA night vision associate and uh, he'll talk you guys through that. Back in totally not my mom's basement for another night vision showdown. This is the view through a PVS 14 in a virtually pitch black room. First up, we have the EOTech EXPS3 on setting night vision one, as dark as the reticle gets. Just pan around the room. with and without the EOTech. Uh, same box fan as in the previous video with the same figurine on top of it. So you can see how we can pick that up with the EOTech, pretty easy to make out. Let's compare that to the Huey on night vision setting one, as dark as the reticle gets. And right away, not sure how well you can make that out relative to the naked eye, but the glass of the Huey is noticeably tinted. Much harder to make things out through the field of view there. With the flick of this switch, thanks to Streamlight and the awesome TLR VIR2, a standalone video coming soon, we have the entire room nicely illuminated because there's plenty of IR to work with now. I have turned up the reticle brightness on both because otherwise the reticle would completely disappear with this much uh, light. This is the EOTech. Absolutely no issue making out fine details, picking up that silhouette on the fan. Not sure which brightness setting this is, just kept clicking up until it looked right to me, but I would say this is perfect. Moving on to the Huey. I think the tint of the glass, this footage speaks for itself. Really no comparison to the EOTech. I kept clicking up on the brightness uh, button to get to this reticle setting. And if I keep clicking, it just stays here. To get to anything brighter, I have to press and hold the night vision button. 
So now I've left the night vision settings of the Huey and I press on the down button to get as low as I could on brightness. And the reticle now has gone from slightly too dim for use with IR light to too bright, frankly. And it's blooming and combined with the tint of the glass, um, it's really not a good look for the Huey right now. So in summary, while the Vortex is good, it's just, it falls short just a little bit in every area, I feel like. The glass quality during the day, due to the tint, is worse. Night vision is much worse. Even though the window is larger, which on paper sounds good, the fact that the body is so long means you have a little bit more of a paper tube effect. You have fewer options with the, with the Vortex, from the reticles to the mounts to even the color, like this FDE one. So I think all in all for that 100 bucks or so, I'm going with the, with the EOTech every time.